fucking U.S. rogues. Welcome to Baltimore. Baltimore. <laughs> Baltimore. Uh, we're playing at the Cyclops uh, bookstore and art space tonight with two other bands. at the venue uh, we were playing so um, we went to get a drink before the game yeah we found this nice little tapas Spanish tapas place and it's got a really good sangria and uh, Jonas what are you drinking it's a <coughs> beer or a bear <laughs> is it a cheap bear no it's a dogfish <laughs> I said that there's Racing a, Ken, Kenny. I'm saying there's a market for all kinds of shit. Yeah. Like that, this book, this shit. Racing Kanye. Is that, it his mother? That's how he says his name. Kanye. Kanye. I have no idea. Kanye! <laughs> You're gonna be known as like the tour jester. Why we want you to be rich? Oh, play the music exactly. for everyone you love. And do one gazillion gigs in US. Yep. And then after a while, you can start looking like this. <laughs> this is awesome. Everyone should have this at their party. You put it on the like on your bottle or your can, and so you remember you, which can yeah. is yours. And so it says desperate, slut, total bitch, tease, antisocial, bedwetter, blah blah blah. <laughs> I think that was pretty cool. He once told me, you know, if you're an artist, uh, what makes you an artist is that you never quit. You always keep on going, you know. So that's why I wrote this song. It's for my dad. And it's called Something Good.
good to be first. It's good to be first. Um, unfortunately, we yeah, couldn't Nolan. we couldn't land a, four bucks. Couldn't land a gig in, in Delaware, but we took a detour to be able to put the sticker on the map. And now we have to pay for it too. And it's on our way towards Pennsylvania, where we're playing tonight. So it's a small. It's such a small one. But it it's first. fits on my finger, and it's uh, the slogan is "It's good to be first. Mm, tiny, 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 tiny Delaware. It's good to be tiny. It's good to be tiny and to be first. Oh, I don't know what she said. <laughs> <laughs> so today we're gonna have spent the day in three different states. Maryland, or even more actually, Maryland, Delaware, New Jersey, and Pennsylvania. Four states on yeah. one day. Mm. Sweetsboro. Oh my god, sweets. There's sweets here. I actually tried to book a gig in Sweetsboro at this place that was called Sweets Inn. Oh, seriously? But they, yeah, but they had uh, closed, unfortunately. And last time I was in Sweetsboro, I've actually been here before. Have you been here? I have been in Sweetsboro before. Why? Because I was going from New York to uh, DC for a gig at the House of Sweden. Oh, so you stopped here to have food. Yeah, we stopped here. It was uh, me and Marcus and uh, Warren and Mike. And so we stopped in Sweetsboro for some food. For tacos? Taco Bell? Not for tacos. Uh, I think Marcus had something with broccoli on the side. <laughs> Welcome to Camping World. This used uh, to be like our second home. This is like the luxury shop for RVers. I don't know about luxury, yeah, but, but uh, uh, it's a shop for RVers. As you can see, all the RVs outside. And we need to get some uh, levelers, because if we're not parked level, um, our fridge stops working. <laughs> so that kind of sucks. Grillfest. It's like a Lego for, uh, for adults. Yep. For RV owners. Or maybe you know buy this five bucks. No toys from Camping World. Donuts is moping. So fucking expensive. It is. Philadelphia. Philly. Cream cheese. And bagels. Philly steak sandwich. Exactly. You can have all kinds of food here. Yeah. After two miles, take <laughs> So here's the scoop. Today we arrived in Philadelphia and we're playing at this place called Connie's Rip Rack. Over here. And we arrive and uh, one of the guys that we meet are like well, you're not playing tonight. We're having a rock, paper, scissors contest tonight. <laughs> Tournament. And I'm like, what? We confirmed this gig like two months ago. And you have my poster in the window. And it says um, May, May 17th, right? So uh, they keep calling, like they're calling people. And uh, eventually they were like, yeah, we were supposed to move this gig. But, uh, well, you can play tonight in between the tournament of the rock. Rock, scissors. paper, scissors tournament featuring Sofia Taldik. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what we're doing. Which is pretty cool, actually. And so anyway, we're waiting uh, because we got there to do the sound check. And it was, now it's closed. So, we're no, just, uh, it's not open yet. Exactly, it's closed. We were there and it was closed. So, uh, now we're hanging out at the bar next to the venue. And I guess our audience will be like rock, paper, scissors. Champions. Contestants. Rock, paper, scissors. 
like strategic geniuses. I don't know if there's anything strategic or genius about being in the yeah. <laughs> rock, rock, paper, scissors contest. You never know. <laughs> oh well, we'll see. I go, I'm gonna enter the contest also. Time back in. And paper covers back. The timeout works very well for Enrico. He's up one match to zero. Papers tie. Scissors tie. Sweat rock trying to wear him out. Papers tie again. Rock pressure scissors. There's the first point for Sweat rock. He's in the lead in match two. Paper covers rock. He's not in the lead anymore. Match point over to Enrico. Sweat rock, you need this throw. Papers tie. Rock pressure scissors. Sweat rock, you're still good enough to win in Sweden. <laughs> These are European uh, dance music potato chips. <laughs> These are our leftovers from yesterday. We played at Dr. Lou's place and um, Jonas had a Philly cheesesteak. This is uh, half of what the original mm -hmm. size. I it was had. huge. It was huge. I had this sausage thing. So, yeah. Which like kind of looks like Swedish meatballs. Kind of tasted like it too. Anyway, we played at uh, Dr. Luke's place last night. And at first I was like, oh my god, this is going to be horrible. Because there was like three town drunks sitting in the bar. just, And they were so loud. Like even when there was no music on, they were just screaming to each other. With the locals. Yeah. And washed for five days. So, so, and they kept doing that for like the first part of my performance too. So the whole first set was kind of screaming drunks. But um, then they eventually left. And uh, the people of <laughs> Roebling, New Jersey, could actually uh, listen to my music. And so that was, uh, it actually turned out a really good night. And they loved it. Yeah, and then Dr. Lou and his band started um, doing like a jam and um, had me sing um, Bobby McKee, Janis Joplin, Bobby McKee. That was fun. That was a good night. Living and now we're having the leftover show. Approaching the beach. Better take advantage of being close to the beach while we're actually on the coast, right? Yep. Disco fries. Woo. Pretty cool wave. Awesome. I think that Magnus would have liked to be here. Surf's up, dude! <laughs> and uh, we're in Jersey Shores, which you can see by that guy's beard there. Uh, yeah. And uh, you know, so people usually grow that, I don't know what it's called, that ridiculous little uh, beard. And they probably claim that they're an Italian. Jersey Shores, classy, classy. Uh, we're at this famous, famous place here. Famous beachcomber. If you look it up on Foursquare, you can read that apparently this is where Snooky got knocked the fuck out. The fuck out? Who the fuck is Snooky? <laughs> I don't fucking know. <laughs> To the first part of local food America. We're in Jersey Shores and I would say that this is probably like you know what defines Jersey Shores is bad taste. 
So obviously we have this here, uh, which is Steaks the origin original place um, of the fried cheese balls, and also of the fried Oreos. And we've been debating like which one should we try because uh, they both sound really disgusting. But I guess to Americans, cheese balls sounds delicious. So let's try some cheese balls. It's like Swedish meatballs with cheese. I think it's just cheese actually. But just let's cheese? Try let's try it. Come on. Here you go. Here's the cheese balls. Someone actually uh, almost died of cheese. He had a paramedic store over here. Oh, actually, I don't know if ketchup comes with the, you know, cheese balls, but oh, I figured like put, everything in the U.S. You comes put ketchup on the cheese balls? Like Seriously? Everything, everything comes with ketchup in the U.S. except pasta. Yeah. Except noodles. But, uh, All right. as I said, you know, the paramedics are here, so no alarm. Cheese. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's just cheese in there. Look at that. Cheese. Jesus. That's really cheesy. Well, it's, you know, I guess it's good if you're hungover or drunk or something. I'm neither, so. It's down. Is it bra or armas? It's armas. <laughs> you have to explain that to our American viewers. Is it good or anus? It's anus. <laughs> the cheese balls get a thumbs down from Jonas. Local food America. So, pretty awesome. We uh, stopped by this radio station and uh, it turned out that Dave, who owns the station, also has a shoe repair shop. Came to Dave's place. Here's Dave. And hey, everybody! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I got new soles for my boots. Me too. Awesome. And new insoles. Oh my god, you can't see my boots here. Alright. And new insoles and everything. Yeah. You just awesome. fix them up and like. What a great even guy. yeah, even gave you uh, the like the special shoe shine thing. When I go out and do a show or something, I try to stay away from everybody. I, like that's why a friend of mine, Bill Westover, is coming down today to do the interview. Yeah. I'm not an interview person. <laughs> <laughs> and we do, like I said, turntables, the whole nine yards. Yeah. The other night I was really really bored, and we actually aired. The whole video of Fantasia. <laughs> <laughs> the VHS, that's not good. So now we're gonna go and uh, get a an oil change for yep. the RV. Little gas station in Forkett River, New Jersey. That's what they call it, Forkett River, not Fork River. Forkett? Forkett River. Forkett River. <laughs> and that's the, the Pioneers have done that for years, so whenever we call anywhere, we have to you know, say Forkett River. Although we did say in Florida one time, we, we live in Fork River, and the fellow said, Don't you mean Forkett River? <laughs> Ashbury Park. Asbury Park. Asper, Asbury Park. As. <laughs> and uh, in New Jersey, it's pretty cool actually, and uh, it's like a um, hmm. little boardwalk. Yeah, we're here. on our way down to the water, and uh, we're gonna play at uh, the Saint tonight. Yep. And that's a great venue, so we're happy for that. Yeah. And just around the corner, over here. It's uh, Stone, Stone Pony, Pony where uh, Bruce the Boss Springsteen usually hangs. So Jonas is going to hang at Stone Pony all night and gonna jam. Bruce, Bruce is going to come out. <laughs> Bruce! Brusan, where have you been? And the slogan? Oh, I haven't learned that yet. What is it? Forget about it. Forget oh, about it. No. All right. Did you guys see that uh, <laughs> clip? That <laughs> well, it could have been. Did you guys see that clip uh, on the Italian uh, president from New Jersey? Yeah. No. Didn't you see that? No. Oh my God! You have to go on YouTube and search for that. It's the most. It's the funniest thing I've ever seen. Italian president from New Jersey. <laughs>
Stay tuned for the next episode of Driving in Dream. The Swedish plan is taking a bath in the fountain. Do you bring me back where I belong? And when I've lost my way, you take me by the hand.